<laughs> Got it, Russ. Okay. Good morning, okay. Bishop Kelly. I'm sophomore Lily Burke, and I'm here today with our former, no, not former, our soon-to-be principal, Mr. Jim Franz. He was former principal at Bishop Gorman Catholic School in Tyler, Texas. Is that right? That's correct, Lily. So we're going to ask him a couple questions and see what he thinks about coming here next year. And uh, you ready to go? Oh, we're ready. Yes. All right. Yep, so tell me about your time at Bishop Gorman. Um, how's it different or similar to what you've seen here at BK? What would you do there? I went to Bishop Gorman in 1998, okay. probably before any student in the <laughs> school was born. Uh, that was 19 years ago, and I went as the principal. Mm -hmm. And at our school, we have just a principal. There's no president. So okay. head of school is what I did. I also, at the time, when I first went there, I coached cross country okay. and uh, taught English. Cool. So I stopped coaching. <laughs> Time demands maybe about 2003, mm -hmm. and then uh, remained as a teacher. I've taught every year of my career. Okay, cool. So speaking of English, um, I hear that you'll not only be our principal, but you'll also be teaching English. Um, so what makes you love English so much? Why is that so important to you? Well, um, I've always enjoyed English and literature. Mm -hmm. uh, probably uh, implied in your question, though, is why do I want to teach? And teaching is the heart of the school. Yeah. Um, and many times in schools, administrators, you can lose touch with what goes on in classroom. But one of the primary jobs of a principal in the structure that Bishop Kelly has, the president and the principal, one of the primary jobs of the principal is instructional coaching, making sure the academic program in the school is robust and as it can be. Mm -hmm. So. That person, in my mind, has to know the classroom and know the classroom well. Right. It, it really is a long tradition of Catholic schools. If you go back 100, 150 years, most Catholic schools, administrators taught. Really? Yes. That's so, cool. Um, yeah, so that's why I teach. Um, so coming here next year, do you see anything right off the bat at BK that you'd like to change or develop? My time at Bishop Kelly has been somewhat limited so far. Mm -hmm. So this is the fourth day I've even been on your <laughs> campus. Um, I'll tell you what has struck me though, Lily, uh, the warmth of your student body. Mm -hmm. um, during the uh, press conference this morning, students were very welcoming, yeah. easy, uh, respectful to talk with, and that that's heartening to me. Um, I, I like seeing that. I've been struck by the morning announcements, especially the reflection that happens at Bishop Kelly. Mm -hmm. uh, four days I've been here, four very different topics and very heartfelt kind of reflections that yeah. happen with students. And I, I've really been um, inspired by that kind of a, of a spiritual uh -huh. enterprise, that kind of a, um, an, an activity during the school day. Yeah. So, I guess probably the first thing I would see to do is to understand the culture of the school, mm -hmm. the traditions of the school, um, understand the gifts of the school, listen, observe. That's really what I would think a leader does early on. There's probably yeah. not a, I haven't seen anything I need to change at this point in time. Well, that's, uh, that's good to hear. Well. <laughs> um, so is there anything here specifically that you you like or that you've that's been unique? I was drawn to apply to this position at this school because of its reputation in terms of a strong faith community mm -hmm. and in terms of its uh, academic preparation. Cool, it yeah. seemed like a Catholic school that was doing what I believe Catholic schools should be doing. Yeah, I'd agree. We definitely value our, our academics here. Um, what can the students expect from you personality and teaching wise do you think you're a strict teacher you more of a fun teacher oh lily i have to <laughs> let you guys figure that out oh you it's know, gonna be a surprise <laughs> I, you know it, well it's just hard for me to tell you what my personality is i think right. it, it'll it'll establish itself pretty pretty soon so okay um, now I, I enjoy talking i enjoy talking with students mm -hmm. hearing uh, what's going on i enjoy talking with teachers i enjoy talking with parents and families, the warmth of community is what I look forward to the most. Oh, we're looking forward to you here. Um, so finally, what would you like 
to see Bishop Kelly like in a few years? Where would you like to see us develop? To continue in the path mm -hmm. to fulfill the mission of the school in terms of spiritual formation and in terms of academic excellence. My role, what I hope to, to do is to come in and nourish that and help to grow. Bishop Kelly has, it's been a rough year, maybe not for students as much as it has been for administrators mm -hmm. in the school. It's been a difficult year because of um, an interim principal with Ms. McMasters and, and some health struggles there, mm -hmm. um, some other uh, illnesses. It's just been a difficult year, so I think um, maybe hopefully a kind of a return to normalcy next year with yeah. Bishop Kelly, and I look forward to, to being a part of that return to stability, helping things move in that right direction, and then um, I guess one of the biggest issues is the implementation of the Chromebooks. I'm looking forward to oh, that. That's, that's going to be interesting uh, for us. I, I'm looking forward to working with that yeah. and helping it to succeed in the right way. Yeah, I hope it goes well. Well, thank you for joining us, and we will see you next year. Um, we're super excited to have you here, so thank you for coming. Um, once again, I'm sophomore Lily Burke. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Go Comets! You did a great job, Lily. Thank you. Thank you.